Hey guys, my name is Evan. Today I will be reviewing the brand new Inferno Salamander. So here with me we have the brand new Beebly Burst Rise single pack here which is Inferno Salamander S5. So looking pretty cool. So this is a balance type and on the back his stats are one for run time and a five for drop in time. Which seems kinda odd for like a, a for like a balance bay. I mean like Sword even had more balanced stats than him. I guess he's using a mostly an attack driver, but still it's a five for drop in, one for run time. Other information there, and then uh yeah, so just cut straight to the chase and unbox this thing. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, I don't know if anyone's had this, has opened this yet. Uh, I really don't care if someone has, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be one of the first at least. But, yeah, so here are the parts. We'll take a look at the layer first. So, this is Inferno Salamander. Looks kind of weird under my light for some reason, but you know, just take out the chip first. So yeah, there's what the chip looks like. Looking pretty cool. It's got like a dark magenta or even a red looking color here. It's black with some yellow details. On the back, here is the code. There you go. And the layer here, looking pretty cool as well. Is also kind of a magenta, not the exact same color as the chip, but still looking pretty cool. And the weight, I don't know what weight this is, but as you can see, there's only like two, two like weight pieces, whatever you call it, weight dots. I don't know, but still looking pretty cool. Uh, it has six sides instead of five sides, and there's no like black parts in the layer. Most of it is incorporated into the chip. And then, of course, you have the, the silver parts here, which aren't metal, of course. So, yeah, there's Inferno and Salamander. Then we have the wing disc. And sorry if you hear me, like, kind of sniffle a little bit. I have allergies right now, but it's fine. So, we have a wing disc here. came on the original Valkyrie and Valtriac. So, kind of odd to get. This is literally the first Beyblade Burst disc, and you're giving it on a GT Beyblade. Or a rice Beyblade, so I really, I really don't care. I don't have this disc, so I'm not complaining. And then for the tip we have is Jagged or Jaggy. I'm not really sure. I think it's Jagged. I'm sure. I'm, I have no idea. But it is an attack type disc. Tip, sorry. And yeah, so as you can see. You've probably seen this before. It's on like Solar Sphinx and everything. Yeah, so we'll put the, the bay together. Oh, and also, if you wanted to see the slopes, uh, anybody, if you wanted to see the slopes here, forgot to show that. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, the slopes. I don't think they look very good, but we'll have to find out in just a second. Hmm. They're okay. There's kind of like a resistance right here. Like, you know where there's this, like, little, um, the little, like, tab right here? It kind of has a resistance there, and for the rest of the way, it's, like, really loose. So, like, many battles, you're going to have him, like, right here at the end of the battle. But still, they're okay teeth. Um, they're not horrible, but they're not, like, good either. But, uh, yeah, so that was the review on Inferno's, Inferno Salamander. Moving on to the test battle. So, guys, sorry for the odd camera angle. But we do have Inferno Salamander and his opponents ready for some battles. I totally forgot to bring a left spin Beyblade, but either way, this is going to hopefully be cool. So yeah, we're going to be doing first Myth Odex versus Inferno Salamander. Okay, there's a ring out finish. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that was like actually Odax or I just launched him on top of him. You guys will have to see for yourself. I'm not going to count that right now. So we'll just do one more battle with him. We'll move on. Okay, so round two. There we go, and there is a win for Inferno Salamander. So yeah, moving on, we'll do a battle with Sword Valtry. There we go, there is another win for Inferno Salamander. And like I said earlier in the video, I did say he would stop here a lot, so that's what, exactly what happened. So, uh, yeah, now we'll move on to Union Achilles. Okay, so round one, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, there you go. There is a point from... Inferno Salamander, guys. So he could. I'm not gonna say he's better though, because you know he's got worse slopes too. I mean, Union is also pretty heavy as well. Sorry about this. Yeah, there you go. There's Union proving how good he is. A bursting Salamander. We do one extra bonus round. Just for fun, so uh, yeah, so let's get ready for that. Three, two, one, let's go. And then. Sorry, guys, he's not sticking to Watch out! Real bonus round. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, well, kind of interesting. I mean, I think the same thing that I did last time. I think I just rammed Inferno Salamander into Achilles, but either way, it would be two to one, so we're going to give it to Achilles. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!